Hello, Stingray parents. This is your tutorial for all things online learning. Whether your student is virtual or in person, you will want to learn how to navigate through our online district portal and other online applications to ensure your child's success. So let's go. This is the district portal login page, which you and your child will find through our district homepage, www.palmbeachschools.org. They will log in with their username, which is capital S and a student number, along with their password, which is usually the last four digits of their student number, their first and last initial capitalized, and the last two digits of the year they were born. Otherwise, they have created a password and will be able to log in. When they do, you will come to their district portal page, which has all of these tiles. These tiles are all of their instructional apps and applications that they will use every day, starting with their email. Your child's email is where they will see their teachers assignments posted and they'll get an email notification and other ways that they get communication from teachers and other staff of the school. Your child is probably a little overwhelmed with the amount of email. So you will want to encourage them to clean their email out and delete things and emails that they do not need. I want to take you over here to the top right corner at this little square up here, which we call the waffle. And this is where you'll see the Google applications. We use many of these Google apps here at Palm Springs with the main one I want to bring your attention to is Google Classroom. Google Classroom is where all of your child's classes are where they will join the meet, the virtual meet every day, and where all of their assignments and grades are listed. You will see your child's classes and they should be in order of period, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Your child will follow the normal schedule that we have. And when you look at each square, anything that is due will be listed in here so you can ask your child, hey, make sure you get that 111 spelling rule practice in. Hey, make sure you get that propaganda assignment in for your civics class. If you wanna take a closer look, you can click on a class and notice you'll first see the teacher, the period, the class, and the meet code. This is where your child will click to join the virtual meet. You'll notice where it says upcoming over here is where any assignments that are due are coming up. And you wanna stay on top of your child and make sure that you are encouraging them to get in all of their assignments. The stream is the first thing that you will see when you click on a classroom. And this is where any assignments are posted and any announcements are made by the teacher. Students can also make comments there to any announcements. When you click on classwork, you're gonna see the teacher's classwork assignments and any assignments with the most recent being at the top. If you wanna get a full view of your child's assignments and grades, you can click on view your work and you'll see their most recent assignments. If it says assign, they have not completed it. If it says turned in, they have completed it and turned it in. And if it says missing in red, that means the assignment is past due and your child has not turned in the assignment. Let's look at a, an assignment that's turned in. Sometimes students will hit turn in, but there's no attachment. Many teachers need an attachment of work completed in order for the assignment to actually be complete and ready to be graded. So if you notice that there are a lot of assignments turned in, but the grades are not matching, perhaps your child is just clicking turn in 
without there being any assignments actually being done. Also, when you go back to the portal, you will want to take a look at SIS Gateway. That is where all the grades will be listed for your child. And you will notice you will notice their grades listed here. And you can click on a specific class, a specific quarter. And you can actually even click on the teacher to send that teacher an email. That's another way to get through it. You can click on a specific grade for a specific class and take a look at which classes. Something that says zero out of 45 or zero out of 10 or zero out of 25 that means the student did not complete that assignment. And then you'll wanna go back over to that class and find out what's actually going on there. Why wasn't that assignment complete? And you can ask your child about it and talk to them about it and look at what's missing. Also, our district portal has many different instructional tiles that we use every day. Um, Nearpod, we use vocabulary. We use many different tiles to make sure that your child is learning everything and, and we are hitting upon many different learning styles with different engaging applications. One application that I want to also show you is Reading Plus. If your child is in reading class, they are doing Reading Plus twice a week and in reading class. And if your child is not in reading class in sixth grade and in eighth grade, he or she is doing Reading Plus in their social studies class at least once a week. And in seventh grade, he or she is doing Reading Plus in science class once a week. And this is another way to make sure that they are reading and that they are growing in their reading comprehension and vocabulary skills. Reading Plus is an excellent, excellent um, resource that's going to help your child and give them just the right amount of challenge to wherever they are in their reading level and help them to grow. So it's going to give them reading comprehension um, activities that are gonna be on their level and just a little bit more challenging to help them grow. And this is research-based programs that actually really do help students. And we want them to do at least five C readers a week and two read around activities. So this is something that they can do at home as well if they're not able to do it. And if you find that your child doesn't have homework and they say they have nothing to do and you see them on their video games and on their phone, they can always do Reading Plus to help them. Well, parents, that concludes this tutorial. I hope that it has helped you learn how to navigate through the district portal and our online Google applications. And remember that the key to your child's success is positive parent involvement. So we thank you for watching this tutorial and we wish you a happy rest of this school year.